Article Blue 2023. My name is Elliot Rutledge. This is my second year in the booth and I'm super excited to be here. I am accompanied by... Harry McGarhill, absolute pleasure to be here um, hosting and, and commentating for the, the event, Vertical Blue today, amazing. Yeah, so this is going to be a really exciting event and again this Vertical Blue is sponsored by Garmin. They have amazing watches which we're both wearing and many of the athletes seconds. choose. Um, we'll switch on over to the platform as we have our first diver. Guzman, is coming, yes. out, coming out 20 seconds. from Mexico. 101, constant weight, I believe. So, uh, yeah, he's getting us started. Just a casual one meter dive to start off the competition. I Not know, exactly. Bad, Oftentimes it is a little bit um, nerve wracking for the athletes four, to three, be diving so two, deep on one. the first day, the very first athlete. But also, in a way, it's very special to have that honor to start Vertical Blue off. Totally, totally. Yeah. I had a little chat with him on the, the beach this morning and he seemed pretty cool. He's a pretty calm guy. So, uh, and he also Last said that he's looking forward to just getting out of the way actually. So he's happy to go with us. <laughs> 25. Yeah. Okay, Roberto has he just started. You see Roberto, he's doing constant one. weight Mexico. discipline. Constant so he's with the mono fin. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Lovely technique. Yes, so they just announced his dive time, which is 2 minutes and 50 seconds. 101 meters, down he goes, about 30 meters now. And we're quite seeing, quick, actually. yeah. Quite, quite fast, maybe. maybe he's feeling it, well that's the tactic, you know, sometimes the divers like to get off quickly, get into a nice free fall early. Okay, he did his final pull there, and he's just now going into the free fall. He did a slight kick after he dropped his arms by his sides, but he's looking super relaxed, super comfortable. It's got dark today. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a, a cloud bit, just came little, over. <laughs> yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit <laughs> overcast. <laughs> but he's on it. Okay, he's just nice, 70 meters in a minute. He's going quick. He's going Quite quick. Good. Looks relaxed. Oh, oh and early an turn. early turn. Early turn coming up. So it looks like he turned at 82 meters. Seven meters. Now on his way back Still. up. Still having really great technique. He is a beautiful monofin diver to watch. Meters. Yeah, really nice kick actually. Beautiful, nice movement from the hips. Yeah. Uh, he's just using it as a little warm up. I expect exactly. we'll see a lot more from Roberto. He's a solid diver. Looked to me like he went off a little quick there. Maybe maybe some nerves or something. But yeah, okay. exactly. And sometimes when you go too quickly free diving, you have some catching up to do with your equalization, which can eventually lead to not being able to equalize at depth. So that could have been the reason. Um, Second safety. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So. There Dawn. we see Dan. <laughs> 10 meters. <laughs> okay, coming up to the surface now. Nice. Looks good. I mean, he's got way more in the tank. It's just a little, be a little bit disappointed with that, probably. Yeah, but also it is the first dive of the competition, so it's totally normal to have nerves and totally, early turns totally, honestly are totally. okay because you do have quite a few days to repeat a dive or yeah, do another right. discipline or something. That's one of the nice yeah. things about Vertical Blue is that it is a longer duration competition, so the athletes get more chances to perform. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's nine days of competition, so it's uh, like yeah. I say it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Still very good dive from Roberto Guzman from Mexico. Felicidades to debut dive of Vertical Blue. He's got us started. Good man. And now, who's up next? We've got Enchante Gallardo. Yes, we have Enchante. Uh, Roberto was the first male athlete, and now we have the first female athlete for the first day. Shante is representing the U.S., and she will also be doing a constant weight dive. And a continental record. Yes, and a continental so, record. And 
she recently became the first American woman to break the hundred Yes, that is true. Very true. But maybe today yes. she's going to mark that down. Yes, exactly. We, we saw her do it in training and she was super fresh at the surface, looking amazing. So and then back at the beach, I gave her a big hug as she was eating her uh, recovery egg. <laughs> oh, yeah. <That's... laughs> yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, Shantae is a beautiful athlete to watch, and she's yeah. definitely well experienced in the competition atmosphere. So She's had a, a, a lot of competitions in the last year or two. She has, yeah. She's yeah. been traveling all over the world, um, attending a few of the Asian Cups, and as well, she goes to Roatan and this competition. So yeah, she's she's very well structured in her diving, and I'm super excited to see this dive. Yeah, me too. Me too. Go on, Shanti. Coach for Shante, I think. Um, Katie might be coaching as well. Yeah, so athletes can choose to have a coach or to not have one. It is helpful in a time of need. Um, so a good coach knows when to actually verbally communicate to the athlete. Um, and when yeah. to not. If the athlete is totally crisp, clear at the surface, then there's not really a need to remind them of the protocol or anything like that. But if there is a moment of unsureness, then it can be the difference between a white card and a red card. Four minutes. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And I, I think um, that's a good point. And maybe a good time to explain what the surface protocol is, actually. So in this competition, they follow the ADA rules. Um, so you have 30 seconds upon resurfacing to complete the surface protocol. Um, and the moment that you remove your facial equipment, you have to begin the protocol and do it in the correct order, which is facial equipment off, so maybe mask, nose clip, and then give the signal, a clear hand signal, and say, I'm okay. Yes, yes, that is correct. So it starts as soon as you start to remove your facial equipment. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so for a lot of divers, it's comfortable to have like a fluid goggle, like we see Shantae is wearing a type of goggle. Um, but it does add to more equipment that you need to take off. So the deeper dives, it's kind of a give or take. If you if you want to be more comfortable during your dive, then for sure wear everything you need to, but also remember that deeper dives sometimes is a harder recovery. So to have the extra equipment to take off, yeah. can, it's, it's a difficult decision, honestly, for a lot of athletes. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some benefit, like you say, to um you know, if you're diving with just a nose clip and you even take your nose clip off before you surface, you've actually just got a lot less to do. You've, you've then got 30 seconds to get up and all you have to do is say, give the signal and I'm okay. Yep. Which obviously, you know, if you're very hypoxic, much easier. Exactly. A bit of a tactic. <laughs> yeah. That's the way, yep. So Shanti is very matching. She's she's like Katie said this morning, very yeah. cucumbery <laughs> this morning, <laughs> all in green. The cucumber. I love the green skin. Actually, I really love the skin. She has a cucumber. <laughs> Shantae, as well as quite a few of the athletes here, are also sponsored by Double K. 
Um, so part of her matchingness comes from <laughs> that line. That's right. She's got the whole kit. She's got the fins, neck weight, suit, all of it. Exactly. She even has the noodles. <laughs> oh, no way. They have yeah, official yeah. double yeah. K noodles now. Wow. Well, that. I don't know if they're double K, but they're matching. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. The watch, too. Nose yeah, cable. exactly. Finally, there's some style coming into the sport. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to be stylish in a wetsuit, but she's doing a good job of it. It is, it is. <laughs> a little bit of a crowd gathering now around the platform. Yeah, it's nice. great to see. She is starting to do some packing, getting in all that extra air as possible. And off she goes, Shanti. Enchante Gallardo, USA. Constant Down she weight, goes. 100 meters, 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Continental record attempt. Ooh, let's go, Shanti. Huge dive. Huge dive for Enchante. Continental record. She's not messing around. Taking nice, relaxed kicks, big undulations. Yeah, quite a wide kick on her, actually. Mm -hmm. A bit of a knee bend as well. Looks really good. 40 meters already. Nice, good speed, good speed. I feel like she's quite relaxed. It's calm. Yeah. yeah. So a little rule of thumb for those that may not know, about one meter per second is the average general speed that freedivers are looking for during a dive. Um, depending how much less or how more you go, kind of depends on your preference. But sure. generally, yeah, one meter per second. It's like the golden numbers. Then. Exactly. Um, obviously, some free emergence a little slower sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe CNF as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot. Obviously, all of it has to do with the drag that you produce in the water. So the disciplines where you have more She's body movement. Looking real good here, actually. This is it. Very good. Okay, reaching the candy cane. Oh, yes. Uh, the tag. On the tag. Yeah. On her way up. Now you can see yeah, she totally shanty. changed her meters. form, doing rapid little kicks. Yeah, Just much more amplitude, like more of a flutter kick now, really. Exactly, really using that monofin to meters. propel her forward, because at this step, obviously, she's very negatively buoyant, so it takes a lot more effort to get back yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, she, the deeper you go, the more work you've got as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's for sure. Which is something a lot of people kind of don't realize when you say, oh yeah, I'm a 100 meter diver. They think just 100 meters, but in reality, it's double that because you go down 100 and back up 100. That's so right. <laughs> That's right. It's a serious <laughs> dynamic, yeah. Exactly. I mean, you get a little bit of a free ride, but that free ride, the longer you go down it, the more True. the more you're, you're creating work for yourself from the bottom lines. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> looking good, Shanti, looking real good. Still maintaining meters. some form. She's losing mm -hmm. it a little bit, maybe just a yeah, bit breaking, more of a knee bend. Breaking a little bit, Second yeah. Side. But also Still maybe good. just a more relaxed kick as she's getting yeah. more buoyant. Yeah. 20 meters. Super nice. There it is, yeah. We've got the Shante. That's it. Go on, Shanti. Go on. on Shanti. Ten meters. A little hypoxic. Come on, Shanti. Very close. Okay, yeah, so she's definitely... Okay. So Shanti has had an underwater blackout. Not oh, too so deep. Close. Very close. That's it. So the safety team is doing those rescue breaths. Okay. 
Yeah. And she has come back fairly quickly from that blackout. Yeah, yeah. I have She's her on okay. the platform now. She'll be receiving some oxygen from the safety team. They're removing her neck weight. So close. Yeah, so that close. was super, super so close. close. I didn't quite see where she officially yeah. blacked out, but it wasn't super That's not deep. 10 meters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Five or something, because it, it is, the number's not up on the screen. It's real shallow. She was so, so yeah. close. Yeah, exactly. Amazing effort. Amazing effort. Really, really good attempt, Sunday. It's not easy to get a continental record. No, it's not, especially on the <laughs> first day, second diver. <laughs> it's quite a bit of pressure on you. Yeah. But yeah, she's on the platform right now and she still has a huge smile on her face, so. Yeah, yeah she's all smiles. <laughs> so hopefully no, she, no she enjoyed it either way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Beautiful dive though, all the same. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Okay, so they just reset the line to the next depth. Um, also, something maybe interesting. Uh, the line is usually set to the deepest, and then it continues to shallow, and then when the break happens, they reset it to the deepest, and then it works its way up back to the shallower depths. Yeah, that's right. The safety team are already working on overdrive, so nice to give them <laughs> an yes. easy work on the road. Yes, yes. Okay, so next up we've got uh, Fatima Korok. Yes. Hungry. She's just got in the water now. She's just chilling on the platform. Yeah. <laughs> um, her specialty. Yes. Free immersion. Yes, Fatima's favorite discipline. Yeah. yeah. So, so far we've had one yellow card to start off and one red card. Hopefully we'll see some, some white cards coming soon. Fatima is a beautiful diver. She'll be the third diver of the day. She has a beautiful no fins as well as beautiful free immersion. She's super funny outside and under the water too. Um, really, really great person to have a conversation with. And if you if you want a good laugh, like she's 100% able to give you a laugh. Yes. for a long time yes you know, she has these really like long chill dives she does it's she crazy does. to watch actually she's just got a monster breath hold on her yeah yeah and so her her biggest thing that she's always talking about is her relaxation she was meditating earlier this morning on the beach um but yeah for her and for all of the athletes in general, relaxation is super, super important. You want your heart rate to be low, steady, um, and you want to have like happy thoughts, but yeah, that's something super, super important to her. So um, usually after her dives, she'd be like, ah, oh, I felt so relaxed, or ah, oh, I didn't feel relaxed, or something like that. So it plays a really big role for her. That's the key, man. And exactly. that's, you know, that's one of the reasons that we see, <laughs> we see it so tight between um, the ladies and the men in this sport is that they just like unlock that relaxation. Exactly, yeah. And that, yeah, yeah. that mental side of the sport is just so important. It is. It's, it's so huge, especially, I mean, I imagine for her because her dives are on average a little bit longer that it's even more important because that's that's quite a few minutes just to be in your own <laughs> mind, you know? Yeah, yeah it's, a long, it's a long time, long time to be on the water. <laughs> exactly, yeah. There she is with her, her nose clip that she's had for I don't know how long, but <laughs> colors yeah, are could, starting to wear a little bit. <laughs> could, could do with a bleach, couldn't it? <laughs> Good, yes. <laughs> there you go. A little bit weathered, but it works. So that's that's all exactly that's all exactly. That's all. Yeah, it's like it's like a lucky lucky charm kind of. One minute. 
like a, yeah, a lot of divers have that, don't they? They've got specific things or rituals that they do, or things that they have with them to um, just build and help on their relaxation. Yeah. Make it the yeah. same over and over again. Exactly. Yeah. It's amazing how something so small can have such a large impact on a diver when you're when you're in a sport like this. Like you see it from afar, and maybe you've never freed over before. But when when you hear somebody that's like, ah, yeah, this is like my only nose clip that I can dive with, it doesn't make sense. But then when you actually get into the sport and realize it, you're like, ah, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, you want to have everything 20. the way you like it, the way you know. So it's familiar. And exactly. So. Okay, so I think we're just a few seconds away from her official top. Five, four, three, two, one. Official top plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And she has Hungary, made her descent. Meters, I really like the way seconds. when Fatima starts her dives, doing free motion, she has this sequence of really small pulls. Yes. And it's this, this little rapid fire kind of do 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 And she, she like scurries down the line and then now you can see she's lengthening out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And a lot of athletes actually right, start out with like just the huge long yeah. gliding pulls, but I think for her it's a great way to conserve energy by doing the shorter pulls. You're stretching your muscle much less at the beginning, which is when you're most buoyant. So it's the hardest point of your dive to actually get down to your neutral or negative buoyancy. That's right then. I mean, look at it, so, so steady. Yeah, you know, exactly. Just cruising. Yeah, she has a beautiful glide. Okay, she just did her final pull heading into her free fall. And she is grabbing the lanyard, probably not creating any friction with it. Um, but that could also help you from getting um, narked because you can feel the lanyard sliding down on the line, so it's a little bit of a sensory um, help for the diver. Just a, a connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Connections and sensations. Exactly. Yeah, long dives like this. <laughs> Narcosis, obviously. Something to think about. Yeah, yeah. which differs greatly for a lot of athletes. Um, but Fatima does suffer from a little bit of narcosis. Look at that. She's already reached the candy cane, looking for the tag. Beautiful grab of that tag. Good job, Fatima. Smooth as butter. There you go. And again at the bottom, she's mm -hmm. kind of like that. Oh, oh she's lost her torch. She's lost her lamp. And maybe her whole cap or... No, the cap's on, but the torch is gone. Yeah, the Damn. torch came off. Still going though, she's not stopping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes if, if an athlete loses a piece of equipment, the safeties could get it, but that's usually <laughs> within the 30 meters or, <laughs> or less, so unfortunately that lamp will be at the depths of Dean's Blue Hole, yeah. which by the way goes to 202 meters. 202. Yeah. Nobody's meters. been there and back Nobody's on their own 40. breath just yet, but <laughs> we'll see. Still looking super relaxed on the way up. Uh, maybe it does look like she lost her cap. The cap has kind of fallen back, I think. Oh, yeah. the whole cap's come off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because she wears her watch in her ponytail, her dive computer. Oh, no. Second safety. Come on, Fatima. Good, she's about on her dive time. Maybe a little... Yep. 3.30, I think she called. Yeah. Slowing down a little bit, but still looking quite relaxed. She looks in control. Just passing 15 meter mark. She'll be feeling the buoyancy now. She's using it wisely. Yeah. Beautiful. Ah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, she didn't lose the watch though. Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, no, she has that very secured onto her ponytail. I've seen how she does it, and <laughs> I think she would have to lose all of her hair to lose the watch. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and there, there, go. there we go That's with a classic. The, That's, the, yeah, yeah. the classic Fatima grunt, groan, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> yeah. And that one sounds like a happy one. She, she has yeah. both of those noises, both for happy and sad dives, but... Uh, <laughs> she does it the same for both. Yeah, eggs. exactly. This is a happy dive, though. <laughs> yeah. She got it. She got it right. Uh, Nailed it. And there we go. First white card of the competition. Great job. Beautiful Fatima. dive. Really, really, yeah. really good. Yeah, and it's super impressive how relaxed she looked just the last couple of meters. She was conserving all of the oxygen she possibly could, and mm -hmm. definitely, definitely paid off. Floated up. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, it's good, yeah. good control. Oh. Really it tells you job. that she's, you know, probably not experiencing narcosis too badly, actually. You know, she's very, like, compass uh, Exactly. Yeah. Solid dive. 342. Uh, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For those of you at home, try holding your breath for a minute and see how it feels. I mean, obviously, many of you are athletes as well watching, but for those that have maybe never tried free diving that are tuning in, Breath holding is something to be practiced. It doesn't come naturally. It's something you have to work for a bit. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> that's, that's certainly true. There we have a replay, reaching the tag. Perfect grab, she knew exactly. Oh, I can't believe she lost a torch in her hat, but it didn't stop her. It didn't even, nothing, yeah. just carried on. Didn't phase her. Good, good. And I'm sure she has extra torches smile. and an extra cap. Yeah, of course. <sighs> All right, well done, Fatima. Yes. Awesome dive. Okay, so they reset the line just one meter less to 95. And this line is set for Shaika. Of Turkey. Yes. Doing her favorite discipline now, constant weight. I mean, that's probably quite a common and good approach for the athletes. They probably like to kick it off with the um, the discipline that they prefer first in competition. Yeah. Get that good feeling, you know, get a good dive under their belt, and then they can build from that throughout the, the comp, right? Yes, I would, I would fully agree with that. Um, the more comfortable you are in a discipline, it can be better to do that one first, Three just minutes. so you get the first dive under your belt for the competition, feel the water, feel the pressure, um, understand how you dive. So if you um, lessen the factors of nerves by doing something that you're very used to, very comfortable with, it can help a lot. Not like David Goggins, where he's like, do the hard thing first. <laughs> you know, so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel like I kind of have that mentality sometimes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like for me, I enjoy very much bi fins. Okay. But I also enjoy no fins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no fins is definitely more difficult. So sometimes I like to just kind of get it out of the way, but also enjoy it. I don't know. I guess it depends on my mood of the day. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's a real. You've really got to want it. You exactly. Know? It's just a. It's just hard work, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's three minutes. I've never actually tried any um, monofin diving myself, but um, oh. I imagine. I've done a bit of the movement before in the pool and it does feel a, a kind of more natural movement actually. Mm -hmm. Not quite like the bifins, you feel like you're working a little bit more the whole yeah. body movement with the monofin is a, a little more relaxing. Yeah, exactly. And you get a lot more propulsion for right. the effort that you do. So sometimes sure. the first time you put on a monofin, you're like amazed by how fast you go. Um, which also the first couple of times you realize that you may need to equalize a lot faster as well because you are yeah. going that much more quick. That's right. 
So Shaika is a very um, interesting Two athlete. She's been to um, many, many competitions. She's well versed in most of the disciplines, um, all the disciplines actually. And she's beautiful to watch. As a child, she suffered from asthma pretty bad. And um, so she started actually going into swimming sports and that helped her overcome her, her asthma essentially um, and freediving actually is One known to seconds. improve symptoms of asthma right. patients so yeah I've heard um, multiple accounts of that just personally like people I know who dive and they start diving and when they get through that asthma um, mm -hmm. so you know obviously there's some in there and she she's a long form competitor as well she's been competing in sports not just freediving since I think 1998. Yes. Uh, so, you know, one yeah. major athlete. Like, <laughs> she's just, she's put the time in. Yes, yeah. very, very much so. Yeah. And it definitely shows because she competes very well. Um, she doesn't typically have a lot of nerves. Right, right. And yeah, she, she also she's very much enjoys the sport, which you can see so clearly during her dives. Yeah, she's always very happy. 30 yeah, seconds. She's got a lot of experience to draw on. Yeah, so they just announced 30 seconds until her official top. 20. Quite like the neck pillow. She's got one. <laughs> also, it's, it's best on, if you know that. Yes. Yeah. Five, four, I think three, of everything. Two, one, <laughs> official yeah. top, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Wearing the nine, gold double K ten. wetsuit. You see her packing now. So she's just closing you back home, watching you, I don't know what she's doing. She's just packing in as much air as she possibly can. She's just taking little sips. Just little sips of air and forcing it in. Start cancel. Pushing it to the very last second, so the athletes after the official top also have 30 seconds to submerge their airways and begin the dive. And I think she turned at about 28 seconds, so yeah, she's right on the line. <laughs> giving her giving herself two seconds of leeway. Yeah. Look at that technique, though. It's nice. Bit of Twenty meters. Pull. Doing the mouth fill charge there. She likes. She's covering her mouth. So Thirty meters. Five thirty seconds. Nice slow, slow kick, slow descent. Yeah, very beautiful so entry into the meters. water. Just 40 seconds. Okay. Now she's in the free fall. Again, you know, she's hitting around that one meter a second, isn't she? Yeah, look at that free fall. Look at that streamlining position. Just yeah, yeah. parallel with the line. Nice, relaxed head position. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's dive. perfect. And that slight bend she has in the knee is allowing the monofin to be perfectly parallel with the line, so it's just cutting through the water. Yeah, nice and stacked, you know, not acting as a break at all, just bang. Yeah, yeah, she's having a really beautiful position. One minute. She's tilting the chin down a little goes. bit there. You see that? Touchdown. She's yep. got it. She's out the ball. Uh, amazing. Oh, Shaker. yeah. Here we go. Uh, one minute, 14. Nice relaxed position with the arms down. Fantastic technique. There, now they're coming up. She goes going into the arrow. One minute, 50. 70 meters. Yeah, looking super strong. Very. Sixty And her announced dive time was three minutes and five meters. seconds. This is also a national record dive. Two minutes, That's right. Yeah, you meters. see the movement there when she's doing the kick? She's just locking the top part of the body in, but it's a Two nice undulation 
from the sort of the rib cage down, Thirty using meters, her whole lower safety. body. Yeah, exactly. Her, uh, and she's her. she's doing a cyclic form 30. of kicking. So she's doing Second about safety. like three full kicks, and then the final one she meters. glides up with that propulsion that she just got. Amazing. Twenty meters. Ten Both meters. Both are with her now. Just now about to reach the surface. Oh yeah, breathe. that was relaxed, isn't it? Breathe, 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 Celebrated a little too early, I so just kind of forgot the breeds as soon as she yeah. got up there. But, uh, well, oh, yeah, no. That was very, very minimal. Very, very minimal. And look at that, all smiles. Yep, <laughs> all smiles again. So happy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, still a very beautiful, beautiful dive Stunning. by Shaika. Um, she was a little bit far from the line coming to the surface. Um, so maybe that kind of interrupted her recovery breaths a little bit. Yeah, she had a bit of a lunge, and she on the surface Ex for the line. Yeah, Just exactly. A little bit far away from it, and then didn't get to doing her recovery breaths. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, still stunning dive. Super close. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Okay, we have yeah. the recap. Stop. We see Dan shooting some photos. There's that beautiful position again, super streamlined. Hitting the candy cane, smooth grab. Very, very lovely dive, nonetheless. Okay, so we have just gotten word that Roberto will be diving again tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm not sure at what time, um, because he was not given enough time, I guess. Yeah, That's what so we've been I guess, told. I guess he wasn't given enough time in his preparation for his dive, or you know they started the um, countdown a little too soon. So. Um, to be expected, you know, there's quite a lot of things going on around yes. <laughs> the event and things are getting finished and, you know, sometimes the schedule runs over a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, exactly. Another good reason that this competition is a longer duration, um, so we can kind of fix up any issues the first day and then continue with the smooth comp. That's right. Ah, oh, beautiful dive from Shaika. So close. Yes, so close. Unbelievable. Yeah. Luke Coley in the water. She's going to move. And we can see Davide Carreras just uh, trotted over to the platform as well. Okay. But in the water now we have. Misuzu. Misuzu. Yes, she is Japan. representing Japan, yes. She's also a very elegant monofin diver. Most of the Japan team actually have some of the best technique I've seen for monofin, so Three they're definitely minutes. one to watch. Yeah, it's a fine technique. Really, really pretty, beautiful to watch. I mean, to be honest, I think the ladies have always got it, haven't they? <laughs> the ladies, they do have a little bit of a better monofin technique. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, maybe maybe due to flexibility. Also, it is kind of like a dance with the water. So, yeah, sometimes we're more fluid with certain things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Generally, obviously, I don't want to make <laughs> yeah. sweeping generalizations, but I, th I think that would, that would probably hold up uh, against too much scrutiny. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. There we see Shaika on the platform. Yeah. She's looking totally She's fine. recovered. Yeah. Yeah, no, no problems. 
still happy, still with a smile. So last year, Miss Suzu had some beautiful dives as well. She was a wonderful athlete to watch. Also super sweet in person. Yeah, one of how many how many Japanese uh, players are there in this tournament this year? Um, four, four or five. I think there's maybe? about four or five. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to double check on that. Yeah, I think they have quite One a good representation. Mexico have got a lot of peeps here. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, Mexico um, does. There's two from Turkey. Um, yeah, 26 the, nationalities all in all, actually, which is yes. pretty crazy. Yeah, I know. It is. This is a very, very international competition. Diverse, diverse group. Yeah, exactly. And it's so nice to see because there is so many cultures and nationalities here, how everybody comes together and uh, participates in one thing that's in common. And then often all of the athletes go to dinner together and play cards, whatever. So it is it is quite a big family during the competition. Yeah. Yeah, people don't really stick to their camps too much. Actually, it's a very, very open, you know, open environment. and. Um, Everyone's all mixing them together. It's, it's really, really nice, actually. It creates a really beautiful environment. And it I does. Think that's why they can go on and perform well here. You know, everyone is so well received, and everyone's kind of looking out for each other. So exactly, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, most of the athletes come 20. here for much longer than the actual competition itself. There's some athletes that have been here for about two months now, training in Dean's Blue Hole and getting used to the water Ten. conditions and everything. So, yeah, it yeah. is nice to have some friendships within your Five, team, but also four, when other athletes three, arrive, just two, diversifying one. what you do Official on the daily. <laughs> it's kind one. of nice on the island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not that much to do on the island. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. It's, it's a good job if you like free diving. <laughs> exactly. So for us, it's perfect. Yeah. Constant weight, 90 meters, 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, stunning technique. Okay, I yeah. Mean, just as you said, you see, look at the, the way the top half of her body is just locked. Right, yeah. like above the shoulders and, and kind of the rib cage area. And then just that beautiful flowing undulation all the way down to the toes through the monofin. Exactly, yeah. And she actually, you can see, has a very even front kick and back kick. Which yeah. you see a lot of times athletes have more strong of a front kick. Um, so the fin will actually look like offset a little bit, um, but she has very, very beautiful technique utilizing both the front face and the aft face. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I think that's what you want, isn't it? If you could draw, if you could draw or create a diagram for it of how to do it, that would be it. Yeah. Exactly. Good drop. 66 meters. She's going fast. It's nice. She kicked quite a while there, actually, into the 30s, maybe 40s. 70 meters. One minute 10. So having really good time. Her announced dive time was three minutes 10 seconds. 80 meters. No headlight. Doesn't need it. Just running on autopilot <laughs> down there. On the, on the feelings alone. Okay. Yeah, get that tag. She reaches the tag. There it is. Nice straight into arrow as well. You know, for me, that's such a good display of like really strong flexibility. Is if they're able to go into the arrow at depth like that, I mean, you know, that's. That's, that's hard. Two minutes. Yeah, it is. And to be able to sustain it, to, to do a proper arrow and mm. to stay so streamlined, you have to have the meters. proper flexibility to do so. Um, because otherwise, then it just becomes a work of your muscles, which uses more oxygen, which is what you don't want. So, yeah, and you get yeah. like a lactic buildup in the shoulders, and, minutes, you know, the triceps, all of that. So, exactly. Yeah. 30 meters, first safety. Yeah, she's looking really, really graceful, really nice through the water. Yeah, I think it's in the bag, isn't it? But I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> 20 meters, good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> sending them, sending them out. <laughs> Good 
go. Slowing down in that buoyancy. Nice and relaxed still. Hand on the line. Awesome. Nice high grab. Strong Removing high grab. Moving her facial equipment. Oh, she has got so a tag somewhere. A tag. She's hitting it well. <laughs> Nobody was going to get that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they get stuck with your neck weight, your watch, everything. <laughs> got to search for it all. Is it on the neck weight, is it? So it looks like she was asking if she was allowed to pass <laughs> neck weight. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> You're really hitting it in there, the aren't you? Is it on the back there? <laughs> there we go. Where's the tag? Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. That's great. She had the tag the whole time. <laughs> I think that might go down. That might be the longest tag search ever. Yeah, yeah. it might be actually. <laughs> Maybe that's a world record as well. <laughs> Beautiful dive though. Yeah, excellent. Look at that technique. Here we have our recap. Too easy, almost. I feel like she's I got know, more of the tank. That was, she was so, so fresh at the surface. Like, so made fresh. it look like a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. We'll see, who, we'll see where she put the tag in. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure I missed it again. So, we are located for this competition in the beautiful Bahamas, Long Island. And the uh, hole that we are diving in is called Dean's Blue Hole. It has been made quite famous um, for free diving, scuba diving as well. Um, the hole itself is in the shape of a bell. So, the part that we see from above, or if you were to fly a drone or have the bird's eye view, is actually the small opening of the bell and then as you go down to about 10 meters it starts to fan out a little bit grander and then there's a couple of shelves uh, that actually make for great photo ops <laughs> um, yeah. if you can get down. That's the first sweet. shelf is about at 16 meters where you can stand on it and then it just plummets from there to the 202 meters. Yeah, it's an amazing natural structure. That, I mean, you couldn't design something better for free diving, really. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, it's a super cool kind of amphitheater. Lots of nice photos being taken in the run-up to the yeah. competition. Yeah, exactly. There, we have we have incredible Three photographers minutes. here and videographers. Um, there's a few production crew. We're here with the Dive Eye. They're doing an amazing job giving you guys this broadcast under the water. It is pretty incredible that we have the technology nowadays to follow athletes all the way down to 130 plus meter depths. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy actually, isn't it? It's, um, it's also kind of changed the sport, I think, you know, because um, having that being able to see what's going on under, underneath is, I mean, obviously it makes it a lot better to watch. Um. Yeah, exactly. And while freediving has grown basically exponentially in the last probably 10 years, it is still mm. quite a new sport. Um, we're still a very small population 
that are competing or instructing. Um, yeah, but very yeah, niche. With this yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay, let me see Fatima at the beach. Love it. That's the hydration shake. <laughs> She's put the work in, she deserves it. A bit of recovery. Exactly. Look at that. <laughs> look, it's, it's all business. Just too easy. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's done anything. Uh, Amazing. One minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so now we are seeing our next athlete. Um, he's our second to last athlete, actually, of the first session. We have Stefan Randing. Stefan Randing of Germany. Doing his favorite discipline, constant no fins as well. Yes, and this is actually the first no fins we have of the day, so pretty exciting. This discipline is absolutely one of my favorites to watch. It's also one of the yeah. most demanding disciplines, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, and 80 meters, it's, uh, well, first of all, national record, huge. Probably beating his own national record, yes. I expect. Yes, yes. Um, Stefan is a long, long standing competitor. I think his first competition was in 2011, I believe. Yes, I, I believe Harbour so. Or something. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he's drawing on 10 plus seconds. years of experience. Um, yeah, and his, his no watch. fins is also extremely textbook. Um, very, master. very beautiful to watch in the water. I'm super excited because obviously it's been it's been a year since I've seen him compete. So I'm excited to see if there's been any improvements with his technique. I'm sure there has. He trains consistently. Five, four, yeah. three, two, yeah, he really is a master one. at this. Top. I mean, Plus I've seen one, him do some really two, impressive things in training. Three, so I think, four, five, I think uh, six, we can expect good stuff seven, here. Eight, Nine, ten. Yes. And he's off. Look at those pointed toes. Yeah, Beautiful. I know. Look at that entry. This is <laughs> wow. so perfect. Stunning as a ballerina. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, absolutely beautiful form. And you can see with, with each cycle between a pull and a kick, the time between the two changes a little bit. So as you're more buoyant, you can see he's doing both basically simultaneously. But then as he goes deeper and deeper, and as he's getting more neutrally buoyant, more negatively buoyant, he's changing those cycles into a longer distance, and he's already in the free fall. Yeah, and he just finished off with a little sort of half stroke or a, a leg kick to just propel him into that free fall. And, um, you can see he's using his feet as, as like rudders, right? Yeah, Controlling exactly. His descent. <laughs> yeah, yeah something to... something super funny to watch during the <laughs> it's diving. It's like <laughs> yeah, it's strange. It's got good control though. I mean, it's working. So. Yeah, exactly. Great free fall. There he is. Oh, oh, and turn. an early turn. Yes, he turned at about 65. I would say Maybe most yeah. likely due to equalization. <laughs> Because, yeah. yeah, he was looking super relaxed and free fall was going well. Yeah, look, looked really good, didn't it? And now he's just saving the legs, um, yeah. pulling up, free immersion. You know, he's, he's uh, already early turn, so he's just going to scrap the dive. Yeah, exactly. So no fins is most likely one that he will repeat to do. Um, so, yeah, oh, yeah. he's wants, wanting to save all of his energy. Well, he has beautiful free immersion technique as well. So. Yeah, maybe. I think this is it. He's just giving us a little showcase, isn't he? Yeah, of his, his, exactly. He's just showing us the palette of his skills. He's yeah, like, look, I can do CNF. Don't worry about it. You've seen it. You saw how good that was. Now check out my free yeah. immersion. No problem. A little, a little preview. It looks like the safeties are just giving him an extra little help. I'm not sure if he, he requested it. I think he requested it, okay. yeah. Yeah, he would have given them a little shake, little nods of the head. Yeah, yeah come. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. take a ride. Thanks. It's all good. It had to be, had to be <laughs> good, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, still, always with a smile. Uh, something 
that I love so much about the sport. Even if you have a not so good dive, like you can still find enjoyment at any time. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's why all of the athletes do this because it is enjoyable. It's something that brings them excitement when they wake up in the morning. So it, yeah. is, it is quite special to see that energy from the athletes. Yeah, they, they love it, obviously. So uh, yeah, it's nice to see, like you say, all that happiness after. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, stop. Yes. And we have the replay. Mm. Beautiful technique. Yeah, he started his yeah, free fall offense. quite early. Yeah, that, not many like, strokes down either, you know, which is testament yeah. to his to his technique, right? I think I, I might be wrong, I counted five and a half, maybe six and a half strokes, which mm -hmm. is, you know, in salt water. He's not got a lot of weight on. It's just so good. Yes. He's just cruising, isn't he? He just went for a little little dip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just a just a warm up dive. Yeah, just just showing off. Making the safeties work a little bit harder <laughs> yeah. today. I don't know. I don't know. I think they got their work cut out already, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Honestly, the safeties have been doing such an incredible job. They've been doing official trainings every day up to the competition. And then, yeah, basically been working overtime, getting the platform ready, making sure all of their signals are okay. Um, yeah, their list of jobs it never stops. It's like the <laughs> yeah. seven bridges. And um, they do it with grace and, and with good form. And, you know, you can see them all now. They're all smiling. Um, and they really do have their work cut out. And then on top of all that stuff that they do, they provide excellent safety. Yes, yes, they are really yeah. the superheroes of the competition, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, they've been practicing their drills the last few days, especially, um, you know, for medical evacuations and stuff like that. And, mm -hmm. You know, it's a well-oiled machine now. A few of them returning for, you know, they've done several vertical moves already. Um, so, yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah. All right. Talia Davidoff of South Africa. Here we go. Ooh, go Taos. Yes. So she'll be doing a free immersion dive to 78 meters is her attempt with a dive time of 2 minutes and 55 seconds. This will also be a continental record attempt. Again, break, breaking her own record or no? Yes. I think it is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, that's a good dive. And she's being coached by her boyfriend. Yes, yeah, by who Jay. Who is also a free diver, motion ops instructor. Yeah, he's, he's come to train with us a little bit in Mexico, and he's been improving day by day. He's been making a few PBs here, which is pretty exciting. So him and Talia have been having a really fun time diving together and bringing the excitement. It's a bit easier in that uh, fresh water, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, not too much easier, but... Exactly. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, in the, in the cenotes, how you've got that fresh water. Um, and, yeah, you know, we easier to go down. Earlier. Right, so that's it. So that's it. So you've got that easy ride down, and like, you know, you're, you're free fall if you're like five, ten meters. Yeah. But then, like you say, you get to the bottom, you've got a little bit more work, working through that. that, that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three minutes. Exactly. Yeah. When you come come from salt water and then train in the cenotes, like the way down feels blissful but then the way up you're like oh <laughs> god what did i get myself into <laughs> yeah, yeah so you put close. yourself there you gotta get yourself out huh? <laughs> yeah yeah but it all takes getting used to and um yeah that's that's also the good thing about being a traveled freediver which most of us are we travel to the competitions is you get to experience the different water types and there's different salinities and different oceans obviously so it is it is pretty pretty fun to test your experience and your limits in, in the different environments. Yeah, totally. Uh, 
this is kind of like a giant cenote, really, but it's it's salt water, <laughs> isn't it? It's, uh, yes. Talia also sponsored by Double K, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fashioning a very lovely suit, actually. Quite like that. Two minutes to a The golden top. green. Yep. Yeah, yeah, has the has the cool colors going on. So every athlete at this event is wearing the um, Garmin Descent watch. Um, this is the official gauge for the competition. It basically gives an even playing field to all of the athletes. One minute, 30 seconds. That's right. Garmin obviously sponsoring it. And they've given us a couple to play around with as well, actually. Yep, to play around with in the booth. And so far, I, I really like it. They're super comfortable. Um, yeah. Mine is a bit smaller than yours, but I, I love the way yeah, it I've fits the, on. Yeah. And the usability is quite easy and the dive functions are great. It also has a bunch of other functions on it. Um, uh, everything. So there's yeah, there's you yoga can, on there. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. We've got yoga, <laughs> triathlon, running, cycling, swimming, all of it. We've thought of everything. Exactly. And, yeah. um, and of course, it does all the like GPS stuff as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It ba basically is a smartwatch to the max. <laughs> yeah. seconds until official top. 20. Come on, Talia. The neck braces off. Like doing a breathe up there. I know, you know me I'm, too. I'm like inhaling, <laughs> inhaling with her. You know? I, uh, <laughs> I had the urge to do so uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, <laughs> official top, hold on, I'm getting a countdown. Two minutes and 35 uh, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Continental record attempt. Nice. So Talia actually going with like a longer pool, right? Mm -hmm. She's very tall though, actually. She's got a super athletic uh, frame. 20 meters? Yeah, um, super. Yeah. There you can see she's doing a mouth fill, right? Which is how she's going to equalize all the way down. 30 meters. And she's covering her lips, holding holding her hand against her lips to uh, make sure the air doesn't escape. 40 seconds. 40 meters. Looking really good. Fast. Really relaxed. You see her, her feet rudders working meters. a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she has a slight spin against the rope but that won't affect the dive. One uh, minute. Minor. Yeah, really nice free-fall position. 60 meters. Is she holding onto the rope a little bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's between her... Just around, um, on the carabiner. Like armpits area a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Just I in see. front. Just keeping herself nice and lined up with the rope. 70 meters. So she keeps her hand on her mouth the whole way down, actually, which is oh, interesting. Yeah. Just to not let any air escape. Really hold, hold her mouth for the day. Really clean tag grab. Yeah, very smooth. I mean, we know she's capable of a lot more. She's done a lot more depth. Um, so... Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think we'll see some really amazing dives from her coming throughout the rest of the competition. Yeah. As today is the first day, I think some athletes are playing it a little safer, just feeling the water. They know their nerves are a little bit up because it is the first day. So. Yeah. Smooth. Smooth as you like. Good glide. Yeah, nice strong pulls. Staying relaxed. Her feet are in a really good position. They're not too wide, so she's cutting through that water very nicely. Very streamlined. First safety's with her now. Who's that? Kathleen or Christy? Kathleen, all right. Second safety, 20 meters. And then Omar.
just now approaching the surface. Strong position on the line. That's really good when, they, yeah. when you see that, you know, that the hand coming up on the line and then they grab it high. That's always a good sign. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we go. Giving, giving a little serenade to the photographers. Uh, yeah, she has the, the tag, tag, presents it. Nice. Takes her bow. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, Thalia. That is a new continental record for South Africa. Unbelievable. Beautiful dive. Yeah, fantastic. Easy, uh, sure. clean, yeah. beautiful, strong. Great dive. Very great dive. Yeah, she'll be she'll be super happy with that dive. Great way to start day one. Yeah, for sure. Really, really nice. And that actually wraps up um, session one for Vertical Blue 2023 by Garmin. Um, pretty, pretty impressive dive so far. Um, yeah, we've seen, we've seen some incredible, incredible athletes so far. And we saw it all, really, didn't we? We saw it all. We saw everything from uh, red, yellow, white cars. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, interesting first, first act. Yeah, we had a super good mix. And this second session will be really, really incredible. We'll do a quick replay of Talia's dive. Nice bright light. She connects her light with magnets um, between oh, yeah. her, her head cap. Yeah, I've seen a couple of athletes doing that as yeah, well, actually. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Pepe also does that got the tip from Talia last year. Oh yeah, she's the pioneer of this magnet yeah, setup, she, is she? she might be. She definitely has some very strong magnets and she came with them last year and swears by it, so. Maybe she should get a pattern, pattern I know. going, a bit I of a know. side hustle. Yeah, yeah. she could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> magnets by Talia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. She's got a very small market for it, but yeah, it probably won't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting point though actually I think a lot of freedivers aren't they they're kind of um, you've got to have some skills like that some side skills you know? exactly yeah yeah of, which, uh, which most do honestly freediving isn't the sole career of the athletes many athletes are like computer scientists or freediving instructors as well we have a lot of freediving instructors here yeah, uh, but they do them, often of have a side gig as well so yeah, well, I mean, the nature of the sport is, yeah, at the minute, it is semi-professional for most people. So, you know, there are a few athletes right at the top who have a lot of great sponsorships and stuff like that, and then they are in a position to be able to just get paid and travel for it. But a lot of yeah. people are, are doing other stuff, you know. Exactly. Okay, well, we now have about 30 minutes of a break, you guys. So definitely tune in to session two. We have world record dive coming your way um, by Mr. Arnaud right. so it will be really really impressive to see and once again we're super happy to be here in the booth and Harry it's so great to have you uh, as well with you, me yeah. it's making the commentary really really enjoyable cool yeah I'm so happy to be here it's fantastic so um, thank you thank you very much all right see yeah. you guys soon see you in a bit ciao